If you like to visit mysterious places on your journeys, head west to Kulawi. There you will find the Judakulla Rock, a site sacred to the Cherokee and a place shrouded in myth. It is a part of the story of who we are. It is a definer of what is being a Cherokee. People just called it that, that Indian rock. Now there's about 10,000 people a year come here. It's really a mixture of science and art. My name is Scott Ashcraft. I'm a Forest Service archeologist for the Pisgah National Forest but I'm also a co-director of the North Carolina Rock Art Project. When it comes to general petroglyphs, this is a very, very big one, not just for Western North Carolina, but for the Eastern US. It's the most densely carved that we know of. It is one of the most important places to the Cherokee people. It's a form of communication in some ways. So what, what is this story? What are they trying to tell? First of all, there is the namesake of the rock itself, Judakula, uh, one of the Cherokee's um, spirit beings, a giant, well, there's his handprint, um, that has a story behind it. And then the long line, one story is that he did it with his nail, and it represents a boundary. We think it's also a map of not only this local area, but also a map for the spirit world. My name is Jerry Parker, and my family has been living here, property where the Judicola Rock is, since the 1850s. For lack of a better description, we have been the caretakers or stewards of this property. How many acres? Is There's the 100, 133 acres. That my father made the reason he wanted to, uh, to preserve the rock, so he transferred the rock to the county in 1959. This is my grandfather in 19... 32 or 3, okay. like that, and that's his cornfield behind him. Okay, yeah. So the rock was surrounded by the cornfield. What's your grandfather's name? His name was Milas. Milas. My grandfather's name I was like Milas. But here is the color postcard. Oh, wow. That they, yeah. that picture originally comes from. I've traveled many places over the world, but I always come back here. And so I look at this as my spiritual lodestone that sort of just brings me back. My name is Thomas Bell, and my home is at Koala Boundary, North Carolina. This region is our ancestral home. I am the Cherokee Language Program Coordinator at Western Carolina University. Cherokee, the word is pronounced Jukala. The rock is 10,000 years old. It tells me who I am. It tells me where I'm from. It's possible to put the entire rock into motion. Yeah. yeah. I'm Brett Riggs. I'm the Sequoia Distinguished Professor of Cherokee Studies at Western Carolina University. This is a spot that embodies Cherokee belief and embodies the Cherokee belonging to this place. It's true, I thought we are from here. This is us. You've got the line, and, and then you have the handprint under the line. And Shukala, when he, when he jumps, he leaves one world, and he comes into another world. To me, that's what makes this thing so special. This is the linkage that comes right up to the present. It gives me a place on the face of the earth that I've been granted to share with my relatives. It tells me that I'm home. The Judah Cola Rock is off of a gravel road 2.5 miles down Caney Fork Road in Cullowee. Find out more about this strange attraction at judahcolorock.com.